What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to talk about strength recovery versus the plain old muscle recovery. And you're watching... So let me summarize the two. Muscle recovery, quote unquote, hitting a muscle group causes micro tears in the muscle group to occur, uh, scientifically speaking, or whatever the fuck, which might cause you to feel a little bit of soreness. Recovery is needed to build back that hit muscle, which in cause rebuilt will make that particular muscle, it'll grow back stronger and bigger in its rebuilt, recovered form. Strength recovery. When performing lifting routines such as power lift, where you're likely to go for maximum effort and hitting personal best, think of it that not only are your muscles needed to perform the lift, but also your mind or your nervous system. Here's an example of me lifting this uh, salt box using my nervous system or maximum effort. <sighs> I mean, I didn't use maximum effort there, but you guys get the drift. You could either lift it up like this, or you can use your nervous system, which is kind of like, I would call it straining. So in theory, to lift this box of salt, my central nervous system exerted the same amount of power or energy as if I would have lifted something a lot heavier. So there's a short summary of the two. Now we're going to talk about how to recover from the two. We're going to start with muscle recovery. Now everyone knows the basics. For muscle recovery there are ton there's tons of extra tricks but here's some real basic stuff just to summarize number one eat up to par with your training number two drink plenty of fluid number three stretching number four proper rest and sleep etc this is usually enough to rebuild muscle tissue in a 24 to 48 hour period of course that's depending on the individual strength recovery what this video is kind of all about now if you're lifting very heavy or strength training you're pretty much zapping the shit out of your nervous system or CNS. You're zapping it big time. Here's some methods that I use after strength training to recover my central nervous system or CNS. Number one, do all of the muscle recovery basics. Number two, avoid stress, which in, which sometimes will mean avoiding human contact. So you might want to avoid your kids or your spouse or your girlfriend or don't pick up the phone. You know, there's stuff like that, which is kind of hard nowadays with everyone having cell phones and all this uh, social network work bullshit there's always going to be some sort of human contact and stress in your life so you got to try to try to lose it all number three try to stay sedentary during the rest period if you run around all day or you have to work this might be impossible if this is the case which it probably is then you got to try to find a time of the day to take a nap or increase your sleep interval if you're sleeping eight hours try to sleep nine or ten hours maybe even more Number four, take vitamin C and magnesium supplements and throw that zinc in there just to spike your testosterone. If zinc actually does that, I'm not even sure. I'm not a scientist. Sorry, guys. Number five, remember to recover. Don't do anything strenuous during your rest period. Don't lift anything heavy. Don't use maximum exertion for anything. At least try not to. So if all of the above fails, your last resort is to skip a training day, maybe even skip a whole week of training maybe more if you feel like you need more so there you have it hope this video helped somebody out thanks for watching see you guys in the next video